Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the things that you're going to need if quarantined. Stay tuned, we have a lot of information to cover. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles and today we're going to be talking about the products that you need if for some reason your area is quarantined under the bug. All right now we're gonna get right to it because I want to try to keep this video as short as possible. We got a lot to go over. First thing we're going to talk about is everything you know people are talking about you know getting toilet paper. Um, you know there's such a run on that it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you want to make sure you got water. Um, if you have bottled water, uh, save your bottles. If you buy it in the gallon jugs, like from Walmart or something, save those, refill those with your tap water, and uh, uh, to make sure that you always have an ample supply of water on hand. Um, <clears throat> there really hasn't been any power shortages or anything uh, in any of these other countries, so I don't really foresee something like that happening here. Um, it, the thing that we probably have to really worry about is if they quarantine a lot of things, I would think that they would want to try to keep like the water treatment plants running and things of that nature, the power. Um, you want to make sure you try to get you go out and when you're shopping, get some baby wipes. Um, you can use these also to help uh, clean products like, you know, just your hands or something. If you had to wipe them off real quick. Um, the thing that's really in high demand our masks, you want to get N95 or N99. Um, these masks that I have here, uh, they have the carbon filters and everything that's already loaded into them. Uh, they're a higher quality mask. Uh, pair of goggles, you want to make sure you have a goggle that seals up your face. Um, I wouldn't try to get anything to where they vent. Uh, yes, they're going to probably steam up on you, but if they vent, that means uh, particles can get into the mask. Uh, so try to get a solid mask or a pair of nice swimming goggles. That would work. Don't forget to have your emergency backpack ready to go just in case you are evacuated. That would work also. And I did do a, a video previously uh, here a couple videos back on how to make it like an emergency little mask if you had you didn't have any and you had to go out or do something uh this way here you have somewhat of protection like i said they're not n95 they're not n99 um, but it's some type of protection something and anything um you want to try to pick up you uh some like clorox wipes any type of cleaning products uh bar soap <clears throat> make sure you have that stuff on hand Pick up coffee filters in case you want to do uh, the mask or something. Just pick up a pack of those. They're, they're really cheap. Paper products, paper plates, um, uh, all that type of stuff. You know, maybe some plastic spoons or whatever. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, you don't have to clean this stuff. Uh, and, um, you know, you're not wasting water if you don't have it. Uh, let's get into some food products now. Um, number one. Coffee, make sure you have coffee, you know, and along with coffee, um, grab some tea bags. It's nice to have some tea. You may want to grab you some powdered um, coffee creamer. Uh, they do have that. Uh, a lot of stores around my area are pretty wiped out. Uh, I did go to um, Walmart on uh, Thursday, and I'm going to show a couple of those clips. Toilet paper while. Wow. It's one pack. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. But back to the food products. Um, rice. Rice, if you can store it, if you have 
If you do have like Marlar bags, containers, um, uh, anything of that sort to where you can, you know, keep it airtight, uh, rice will stay for a very, very long time. Um, if you have a vacuum sealer, even better with a lot of products. Uh, you want to try to grab, you know, it, anything at this point uh, in the game because it, it's getting so long in the game. You want to try to grab whatever you can grab. Uh, as soon as they put it on the shelves, people are just taking it. Uh, I saw in Walmart uh, when we went on Thursday, uh, they had pallets of uh, paper products. And people, they didn't even have a chance to, they just rolled it out on the floor and people just ripped the plastic off of it and ripped the cases open. And it was a mad dash for all the toilet paper. It's ridiculous. Um, so you want to get some canned goods. Make sure you have some food and stuff that the kids will may like to eat. Macaroni and cheese. Beefaroni. You can get these canned hams. I mean, you know, so this way here. Pasta. A real thing to try to get. And uh, I've been told by some family members and stuff that they can't get it now. Uh, powdered dry milk. Um, buy these boxes of cornbread. You can make cornbread. You know, make your favorite soup or, or chili or something. You make a big pot of that and you can get several meals out of that and make you up some cornbread. Uh, make sure you have condiments on hand. Uh, salt is a big one. Uh, pepper. Um, you know, any of your spices that are already in your cabinets and stuff. A lot of people out there, you already have all that kind of stuff. You want to get soups. Um, any kind of soup that you like. Uh, cream of mushroom, cream of tomato, uh, you know, chicken soup cream of celery, anything like that. Uh, canned chicken, canned tuna fish. You know, all these things kind of go together. You know, the biggest thing you want to try to make sure you have is water. Uh, if you can, and you can go down, and if they have it available, if you look, they sell uh, potatoes in the can. Now these are actually very good. Um, you, if you take, and all you have to do is strain them off a little bit, and then you can cut them up, fry them, uh, heat them up, put a little butter or something in there. Um, and you have a, you know, you have mashed potatoes. Um, I do have on hand, now I ordered this offline. This is canned butter, comes from Australia. Um, the last time I looked, there wasn't any available. Um, but I did buy some of these uh, uh, last year, just on the chance that something did happen. Uh, like I have said in my videos, I prep for hurricanes for where I live. And a lot of my preps have now been rolled over to this bug. So, you know, having things on hand for one type of scenario, like I've talked about in my videos, um, will come in handy for just about any type of scenario that does come along. Now, one thing that I want to tell people, uh, don't forget, you know, you go into the stores and the food aisles and everything else are all like ransacked and everything else. Hit the camping section. You go over to the camping section, you can pick up your freeze dried meals. You know, this is Mountain House. I buy them at Walmart. They still had them. You know, people are forget about that. You know, I mean, and they're, these things are good for 30 years. <clears throat> so, you know, if you could buy some of those. Online, well, they're not really available. Um, they're very hard to get, you know, if you have any way to pick up any military surplus, um, like MREs, um, I got some of these. You know, the whole thing is, is you just wanna try and make sure you get out there and get whatever it is you need. Um, that's gonna sustain you if we are quarantined for say the 14 day period they're talking about. Now, I would not go off of the 14-day period. I would plan on something much longer and base it on the size of your family. But these are some of the products that you're going to need, essential products. Um, oatmeal is a good one, and it's very cheap. I picked this oatmeal up here, a uh, big container. It was $2.98, and they had that still on the shelf. People just don't think about this. That's why I'm trying to bring this to your attention. There's other things that you can get that will help sustain you through uh, hard times. You know, you can make oatmeal muffins, you can make uh, just regular oatmeal, you can add it to whatever, you know, it, it's uh, very healthy and very good for you. Um, same with pasta, you can do a lot with pasta. I've covered that on several videos. But I just wanted to do a quick video today and bring this to everybody's attention 
on things that you need to have if you're quarantined. Um, the, your biggest uh, problem right now is the unknown, and that's why there is all this panic buying going on and everything else because um, uh, people just don't know. The government don't know. Uh, nobody knows. So everybody's just like ramsacking the stores, and it's only a matter of time before uh, the stores just don't have the products anymore. So you may want to make sure you get out there and get out there now and try to get what you can get. Um, uh, one thing, you know, you hit the big box stores, that's the first place that everybody's going to go. If you can't find supplies and stuff there, you may try some of your smaller mom and pop stores, um, country stores, and see what they have. Yes, you're probably going to pay a little bit more for it, but at this point, if you waited this long, uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, your convenience stores, um, you know, they're all over the place. They do sell food products and stuff in there. Yes, you're going to pay a lot more for it. Uh, but if you can get a few things, you know, just throwing some ideas out there for you. Um, they do have a, a lot of, uh, a lot of the stores are trying their best to, to restock and replenish and everything else. And everybody just needs to have patience. We will get through this. This isn't the end of the world. And everybody just needs to calm down a little bit and uh, take a deep breath and then go out. And if you have to go to the store and stuff, just have your patience. Uh, you know, there are those rude people out there and you're gonna run into that at this point. Um, but I just wanted to bring this video to you real quick. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I hope everybody stays safe and if you do go out, make sure that you're cleaning the carts and um, being aware of your surroundings. And on that note, I'll catch you on the flip side. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something.